Hello everybody, welcome to Lucas on Below the Frame. I'm Luca D'Amico and this is my assistant Camilla. And this is my guest, my mom, Erin D'Amico. Hi everybody! Hi everybody. Today, we're gonna, I'm gonna read it to you and everybody out there. Big Bird's Baby Book. <gasps> I love this story. Okay, how about By Michaela Montine and illustrated by Tom Branham. Big Bird and Elmo held the door of Hooper's store open for a lady pushing a baby carriage. Thank you, said the lady. I hope my baby grows up to be as polite and helpful as you two. May Elmo see the baby, Elmo asked. Can I see the pictures? Aww. Yeah. Of course, the lady answered. Her name is Frida. Hello, Frida, Amo said softly as he peered into the carriage. Amo was once as little as you are. Big Bear bent down to look at Frida. I, I was once that little too, he said. Amo looked it up at Big Bear. A uh, Big Bird. Are you sure? He asked. Of course I'm sure. What's that? Chocolate. From the cookie? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let me start. Of course I'm sure. Said Big Bird. My granny bird has an album filled with my baby bird pictures. Emma would like to see them, said Elmo. Okay, Big Bird answered it. Let's go. They waved a goodbye to Frida and her mommy and set off towards Big Bird, a uh, Granny Bird's house. I'd be happy to show you the album, Granny Bird said when Emma asked to see it. I never get tired of looking at pictures of my little Big Bird. Granny opened the album, look at this one. Said, she said with a sigh, wasn't he adorable? Um, Emma looked at, at the picture. Then he looked at, at looked at Big Bird. It doesn't look like you at all," said Elmo. "Just wait," said Big Bird as he as Granny turned the page of the album. The next in the next picture, the egg had cracked it in two, and between the halves halves of the shell said a little yellow bird. <gasps> Who is that? Baby Big Bird. Look everybody. It's Baby Big Bird. Yes. I love Baby Big Bird. Yes. Do you? Yes, how about he? He was one of the of the cutest bunches of feathers ever hatched. Hatched. Hatched, said oh. Granny Bird. And so small, I could tuck him under my wing. <laughs> sure enough, the next picture of the album showed the granny's feathery wing wrapped it around the newborn bird. Big, baby Big Bird. I didn't stay little for long, said Big Bird. Granny nodded. You shot up, you shot up. Like a weed, we had to keep making you bigger and bigger and bigger nests. That's why we decided to call you Big Bird. That's right. What's that? Emma asked it, pointing to a pale yellow feather taped to a page of the album. One of Big Bird's baby feathers. Granny explained it. It was the first one he shed as his new feathers began to grow in. Look, said Big Bird, here I, here I am in my high chair. Yes, said Granny, you sure like that birdseed baby cereal. You ate it by the truckload. 
Now listen, before we change the page, who else has a feather taped in a book? Mine. Tell everybody, where did you get your feather from? Kaufman's Toys Studios. Yep, it was one of Big Bird's feathers, a real feather he has in a book. Yes, okay. Here you are taking your first step, said Granny Bird. And what did you do? You walked it right through a mud puddle. <gasps> mud? He he he, Emma giggled. It was into the bird bath for you, Big Bird, he said. Here's a picture of a very important day, said Big Bird. It's a birthday party, said Elmo. Yes, said Granny. Big Bird used it to call them bird day pit parties. Bird day parties. Bird day parties. It's important for another reason, added Big Bird. It was the, net, the day Radar came to live with me, he explained. <gasps> like who? Camilla. That's right. This sounds like your story. Yeah. Huh. Silly. You wouldn't go anywhere without that little bear, said <gasps> Granny. Like who? Me. <laughs> yes. Pretty soon you were big enough to help me make birdseed cookies, said Granny. You always liked to pour while I stirred it. I still like to do that, said Big Bird. Only now I don't need a stepladder. Would you like to help me make a batch of cookies now? Asked Granny. Sure, said Big Bird. Big Bird, said Emma. Once upon a time you really were as little as that baby in Hooper's store. But I'm all grown up, grown up now, said Big Bird. You may think you're all grown up, said Granny. But you'll always be little Big Bird to me. Oh, the end. The end. What a wonderful story. Okay. That sounded a lot like you and Camilla. You go everywhere with her, like Big Bird went everywhere with... Com Radar. Radar. That was a great story today. Thank you. Thanks. Did everybody enjoy the story today? They loved it? I think so. Write it in the comments if you like that story. I reviewed it. Taking his first steps. Yeah. Missy. Uh, birthday party. Yeah. <gasps> What's that one? All the pictures of Baby Big Bird. And Radar. That's right, Radar. And Granny Bird. Mm. The end. There's uh, one more picture. See? I reviewed it. Good job. What's your favorite part of the story? I think my favorite part of the story is when he gets radar. Me too. That's your favorite part? We have the same favorite part. What's your favorite part? Did you like when he lost his feather? When he hatched? Um, when he learned how to walk? What else was there? There's a... Uh, let's see. Uh, Nestus and birdseed cereal. Oh, when he first had birdseed cereal. And then mud and bird bath. To bath. Bird day bath party. They go anywhere with the radar. And then the baby Frida. Oh, in the beginning. Yes. 
Okay, well, thanks for coming to my show. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you later. See you later. Goodbye from Lucas Lounge Below the Frame.